What's up guys, welcome to the next CWL Premier Recap video. This is week five, the first interdivision uh, week in which every clan faced a clan from their same division. So a lot at stake, clans really separating themselves within their divisions. Here are the 16 matchups that took place, I guess 15 rather. I'll elaborate more uh, later in the video on one of the clans that uh, was basically uh, kicked out or withdrew from CWL unfortunately. But the other 15 were great matchups. We're going to go through all of them, talk about the polls, what you, who you guys thought was going to win, who I thought was going to win, and who actually won. Now, real quick, before I start, I do have to say I wasn't able to record as many attacks from different clans. A lot are from the same few clans because I was kind of busy scrambling at the last second to go around to get some attacks recorded. So I apologize for that. Anyway though, still have some awesome attacks to show in the background as well as the stats at the bottom of the screen that we'll roll through in just a moment. But first, the first little cluster of results here. We have Rogue 11 getting the win over Finland War, 83-81. King Jeffrey uh, loses to Hindustan Close War, but 86-85 Hindustan. And Crystal Warrior, um, pretty significant loss there to Grumpy Old Men. Six star margin, 84-78. As far as the Quantum 3 Pinoy Bandithos, Quantum 3 did, I believe, withdraw. They could not reach an agreement with the CWL administration on some accounts that were banned. One or possibly multiple accounts. I don't know the entire story, but um, basically the bottom line is they couldn't work anything out. I don't think the account itself was involved in the wars, so it wasn't like a huge scandal, but um, they just couldn't come to an agreement regarding an account that had been banned. Therefore, they withdrew from CWL Premier, and Pinoy Banditos will get the, uh, the win, I assume, by default. But let's talk about some of these other matchups here, the other three you guys saw. Going over the polls first, by the way, no one was 16 for 16. Uh, there were a few upsets that pretty much threw everyone off, but the first one was not an upset. Rogue 11, 3 and 1 going into the week, uh, advances to 4 and 1 with a win, or a win over Finland War, who goes down to 1 and 4. This one, pretty much expected. Um, Basically, Rogue Eleven's been doing just enough to get the win each uh, week. They've been 83, 84 stars. Besides the one loss, they've been consistent, and uh, it was enough this week for sure. Finland War dropping down to 1 and 4, and uh, being in the same division, that definitely puts a big uh, gap between them that otherwise wouldn't be there had the score been different. So, tough week, but uh, both clans still in you know a shot at the playoffs, but Rogue Eleven looking a lot better at 4 and 1. Next matchup, Hindustan versus King Jeffrey. Uh, myself and 83% of you said Hindustan would win, and they did. Possibly the best clan in CWL right now. 86 stars this week to King Jeffrey's 85. Jeffrey, not looking bad, got 84 last week. Definitely on an upward trajectory in terms of stars. Um, despite dropping to 2-3, and three, I think they're one of the better clans now that has a losing record. Not in bad position. 2-3 and three is an okay record at this point. But Hindustan, 4-1. and one, The only loss to Quixotic Squad, which is no longer in the league. So they're looking really good, and I think they are one of the best, if not the best, teams in the league right now. And finally, Grumpy Old Men versus Crystal Warrior. Grumpy Old Men had won their first two matchups, um, came out strong, but weeks three and four lost both of those. But now they've bounced back with a win uh, to get the win 84-78, which is a huge margin of six stars. And Crystal Warrior not looking good. Um, they're down to averaging... 81.6 stars per war, which isn't terrible, but it's not enough to win, and it just hasn't been enough uh, any given week. They've been a little bit unlucky in terms of clans having good weeks against them, but part of that might be their base building. So um, that's the first cluster. Let's move on to the next few uh, right here. Art of War versus Dark Looters X. Close war, but DOX gets the win 84-83. Uh, Dark Avengers versus Die Sabazis, or DS as I like to call them. Uh, Dark Avengers 86-80, um, big margin there. Another huge uh, margin, uh, Marshall's Nation versus Three Point Park. Nation with a 9 star margin, keeps the record undefeated. Um, pretty awesome war to them. And then the last one here, another <laughs> big uh, blowout almost. Uh, LT gets the win over Terps win big, 85-80. Um, so here we're going to throw up an attack, talk about these a little bit more, starting with the first matchup I just mentioned there. That first one, of course, like I said, DOX getting the one-star victory over Art of War, and uh, that one, probably a little bit closer than uh, Dark Looters X would have liked it. 
Um, they're probably the hottest clan in CWO Premier for the first four or the first three weeks. Then week four, a huge shocker, losing to Marshall's Nation. But probably good for them to bounce back, even if it was such a close war. Because Art of War is a solid clan. 95% um, of you guys had DOX winning, as did myself. So, so far the first few have been not too hard to predict. Not many upsets or anything. But Art of War averaging 83 stars, um, scored 83 this week. DOX got 84, but they're going to have to do a little bit better to be one of the top clans like they were. But of course, that's a good place to bounce back. Um, good job to them, and uh, both clans looking pretty solid. Art of War at 2 and 3, but not terrible position um, to be 2 and 3 at this point. The next war, uh, Dark Avengers versus Die Sabazis, D, sorry, DS, we'll go with. And uh, this one, pretty uh, much a blowout, 86 to 80. Dark Avengers really going off this week, and they, they're kind of an up and down clan. They got 87 in week two. Um, they've been kind of going down to like 80, and I think in week one, but they've had 83. They've just been all over the place in terms of their stars, but this week definitely scoring high, showing a lot of potential. Um, so all three clans uh, in the Dragon Division besides Dark Leaders X are two and three, uh, with DS, Art of War, and Dark Avengers all sitting at two and three. Um, DS, in terms of their performance this week, they've kind of been a mid-tier mid clan, um, not really showing uh, a whole lot of stars in any given week, but they've done enough to get a few victories, and uh, I think that the Dragon Division should be interesting with all these clans at 2 and 3, still haven't quite separated themselves, besides Dark Leaders X being at 4 and 1. Oh, and by the way, for the polls for that last one, uh, Dark Avengers barely got the majority there, 55%. Uh, picked them, 45% did not. I believe I picked uh, Dark Avengers myself. Um, moving on to the last war though, biggest blowout of the week, possibly of the entire CWL, I'm not exactly sure. There's been a few other big ones, but Marshall's Nation going to 5-0 over Three Point Park that's now down to 1-4 with a score of 86-77, to a nine-star margin. Uh, Marshall's Nation dominating. Their average stars for only 83.4, not terribly high, well below the average stars of 85.2 for Hindustan, but they have done enough each week to get the win, and they're starting to show their power this week with such a definitive uh, victory. Three Point Park looked like they might have some hope, but down to one and four, tough position to be in, and they kind of are starting to slip into um, not too good of a shot at getting uh, first or second in the division here. And finally, our last one here, gonna fit this in real quick, going a little bit over on time, but uh, we have LT versus Terps win big. LT gets the victory as about 88, 89% of you guys said, and they go to four and one. Terps win big down to 0 and five. LT, by the way, also on a four game winning streak, so good stuff there. Okay, and moving right along to the next four, um, we have Pigeonism versus Valor Do Harris. Valor Do Harris gets the victory, an upset, I guess you could call it. Um, CZX Knights versus J Off. J Off gets the victory 85-83. WHF gets the very slight one-star victory over Dragon Rejects. And finally, Quixotic Squad, um, surprisingly, goes down to Emphatic Fury 83-79. to so how about that first result there, Pigeonism, the favorite at 1-3, going down to the 0-4 Valor Do Harris, 83% um, had Pigeonism winning, but they couldn't get the victory, uh, went down a three-star margin, 84-81, to VD, and uh, Valor Do Harris really, you know, hasn't done much um, in the first four weeks, but they got a victory, which I'm pretty sure uh, is going to be encouraging for them. Uh, going forward, and Pigeonism lost to Emphatic Fury last week, so two losses to two of the bottom uh, level or bottom performing clans, so not looking good for them. Uh, they are still, uh, actually that will put them down to 1-4. and four. Um, They are in the same division as Valor Do Harris, so both clans now at 1-4. and four. Their, their division actually is the weakest though. Um, the top team is only 3-2, and two, which is J off, so still some hope, but both clans not looking particularly good, but VD um, must feel good to get the first win in the Premier League. Okay, J off versus CZX Knights. This was an interesting matchup, both clans 2-2 two and two going into this. I can't remember who I actually predicted. I should probably keep track of these. I guess I'm too lazy to go to the video. But I can say that 77% of you guys had Jay off winning, and you were correct. Jay off getting their first victory after a two-week uh, losing streak. They were hot the first two weeks, but then went 
kind of regressed a little bit the next two. Um, but that being said, it was really only a one week slump for them. They had one kind of mediocre week where they only got 80 stars. The week after that, which was week four, they went against Quixotic Squad. They actually got 84, which is very solid, but Quixotic got 85. So not, the, not exactly fair to say they had a two uh, week slump. Just had a, a very tough matchup in week four, but they're back in week five, getting the victory here, putting them to three and two. They're averaging 84.6 stars per week, which is very, very high. Um, over one star higher than uh, the top clan uh, in the Elixir Conference, which is Marshall's Nation at 5-0. and um, As far as it goes for CZX Knights, they're down to 2-3. and three. They've had some very tough matchups, but they've been uh, consistent throughout, averaging 83.6 stars um, throughout the first five weeks, which will typically get you a winning record. They have just had some tough matchups, but that division has plenty of room. The minor division it is because it has a 3-2 and two J off, 2-3 CZX Knights, then 1-4 Velo Velordo Harris and Pigeonism. So a lot of room for movement in that division still. The clans all within two uh, wins of each other. Okay, Dragon Rejects versus WHF2. Uh, this one was going to be a good one, we knew. Uh, both clans being 3-1 and one going into this week. And it was a close one, WHF2 eking out the victory 84-83. But it definitely was an interesting matchup because both clans in week 3 scored 84 stars. Both clans in week 4 scored 83 stars. They were right neck and neck, both at 3-1. and 34% um, predicted Dragon Rejects, 66% predicted WHF2. So um, the poll got it right. So good job to WHF2. They're in good position uh, at 4-1, and one, but the Rejects still also in good position at 3-2. and two. Both clans looking very solid moving forward. And finally, another upset, another uh, bracket buster for you guys. Quixotic Squad versus Emphatic Fury. Uh, Quixotic Squad, definitely the favorite, favorite 89% going for them. Uh, only 12 or 11% going for Emphatic Fury. And Quixotic Squad, 2-2, two and two, probably one of the best 2-2 two two clans. They were right up there with Quantum 3 in one war. Um, 85, 86 star weeks for them. But I uh, couldn't get the win this week. They're kind of hot and cold. And this was a cold week for them, only getting 79. Emphatic Fury, um, even though they were 1-3 and three going into this, have been solid still, averaging uh, now 82.4 throughout the first five weeks. So both clans um, have potential. Quixotic Squad at 2-3. Uh, and three and Emphatic Fury also at 2-3 and three now. So uh, both clans looking to make a run at WHF2, who currently leads the division at 4-1. and one. All right, last round here, Invictus Prime gets the win. It goes undefeated still uh, over Fortis LTU, 84-82. FYSB wins over Sons of Anarchy. Close war, closer than many thought it would be, but still wins 83-82. We are Spartans versus Chosen Elite. Spartans gets the win, 83-79. And my very own One Hive Genesis versus Forged from Steel. Very close war, but Forged from Steel gets the win, 84-83. So that first one, not difficult to predict for most people, 98% um, had Invictus Prime winning, and the 2%, which was actually just one person, there's always that one guy, uh, picked Fortus LTU. Uh, they lose going to 0-5, Invictus Prime to 5-0. and Not too hard to predict. Invictus Prime averaging 84.6 stars per war. Very solid, not as, um, as much as Hindustan, who's actually 4-1, and one, but they've done enough each week to get the win, so they are 5-0, and oh, uh, L uh, Fortus down to 0-5. Oh Next one, FYSB versus Sons of Anarchy. Uh, this one actually had 11% going for Sons of Anarchy, even though they were 0-4, FYSB 3-1, but FYSB did get the close victory, 83-82. Sons of Anarchy not looking good at 0-5 now. They've had some very um, tough weeks, but they've been close other weeks, haven't gotten their first win yet, whereas FYSB is right up there at 4-1, chasing Invictus Prime for the first place uh, spot in the division. Actually, the only division with two clans that are 0-5, being Sons of, An Sons of Anarchy and Fortis LTU. We are Spartans versus Chosen Elite. Um, 73, 74% said We Are Spartans was going to win. 26% said Chosen Elite. And the favorite, uh, the 3-1 We Are Spartans got the victory. 
to uh, 79. Not the best war, war from Chosen Elite. They're not averaging that high, only 81.8 stars for, um, so that gets them to about two and three, I guess. We Are Spartans actually not averaging a whole lot of stars, 83, which is somewhat high for being four and one, but they also have a low star against average at only 81.4. And finally, the war that I was actually not in, but I was definitely watching, uh, Forged from Steel versus One Hive Genesis. I appreciate the 32% that came out for Genesis in the poll. We did not get the win. It was so close, 84-83. Um, had a lot of chances to finish, just couldn't quite do it. And it definitely came down to the wire, had some nice attacks, but in the end, some of the Town Hall 11 dips that failed probably were what cost it for us. We had more 10v10 triples, it was just the Town Hall 11 dips. So tough war to us, we're down to 1 and 4, but still looking to bounce back the next few weeks, forged from steel up to 4 and 1. So here are the standings, I'm not going to talk through all of it, but you can just uh, pause if you want to look at it. This is the gold division, the first half of clans. Note the giant division, that first division is very divided um, between the top two and the bottom two. Here's the Elixir Conference. Um, the bottom two divisions there, very tight, no clans really separated themselves, so a lot more of action to come. I'm excited for next week, should be fun. This recap's a little bit late, so the projections will actually be coming out very soon after this recap is out. But thanks for watching, hope you guys liked the video. Here are next week's matchups, just in case you're interested, week six, and uh, should be a fun one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.